I'm here to talk to you a little bit about chest. What? Get your head out the gutter, man. Yes, I'm talking about chest. So everybody's favorite day in the gym is chest day, right? But guess what? If you're doing it wrong, then you're really not getting much out of it. So don't spin your wheels spending all the effort and time and energy into doing something. At the end of the day, it's not right. So you're not going to get much out of it. So wouldn't you rather get more out of less work? Huh? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. That's why I'm here to talk to you about it. So, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Brent Casper. This is BKPT. If you haven't subscribed, definitely do so. Um, this goes along a little bit with my Blind Man Chronicles. So, I've talked to you guys, and if you guys have seen videos in the past, I speak about how I definitely feel like I have a different ability to share and tell you about your body anatomy, how things are supposed to feel, and obviously give you the verbal cues to understand rather than just visually looking at something, you know, like yourself in the mirror trying to figure it out or looking at a magazine, right? So I like to give you verbal cues along the way so that way it gives you that added sense so that way you can get more out of it. But this, there's a lot of technique that goes into doing chest and bench. So, you know, I'm gonna go through those things. And then I also had a, a client today face to face um, that, you know, it's funny because he's finally starting to slap on some muscle. He's feeling really good about himself. And he's like, man, right, I don't want to bulk up. I don't want to lose my flexibility, right? So, you know what I have to say to that? Do you know how many massively huge bodybuilders, power lifters that are more flexible than your average Joe who doesn't even have a third of the muscle that they have. It, it's mind blowing, but you know what? People have this like myth that they can't break. And it's honestly, it's just like women saying, I don't want to lift heavy weights so I don't want to bulk up. Men say, I don't want to lose my flexibility. But guess how you lose your flexibility? Yes, by not stretching. So if you don't stretch, guess what's gonna happen? Whether you lift weights, or whether you don't lift weights, whether you gain muscle, or whether you just get fat and also inflexible. If you don't practice something, you're not going to get better at it, right? Yes. So sometimes you have to listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth or have somebody repeat them to you, so that way you're like, holy crap, I said that, and yes, that is silly. It's like somebody saying they don't want to get worse at playing a sport because now they picked up lifting. Well, if you stop playing that sport and all you did was lift, of course you're going to get worse playing a sport because you're not using them as a bridge to go together to make you better at what you're trying to get better at. I know that was some powerful stuff, but at the end of the day, I wanted to kind of like smash some myths. I want to give you some technique on how to do a proper bench, how to build your chest, so that way you get the most out of the time it's spent in the gym. All right, here we go. So this is the bench. This is the barbell. We have weights on the bar, right? So a couple key techniques when lining up to do the bench press. One, grip. So where do you grip a bar? So you typically want to make sure, A, you're outside your shoulders. B, you want the bar lined up with your eyeballs, okay? The reason you do that is so that when you pick it up and you get adjusted, you're not hitting the doohickey majiggers. You know what I'm talking about, the doohickey majiggers? The hooks, man, you don't hit the hooks on the pitch. Because at the end of the day, it's annoying, and it can knock you out of your momentum, all right? And you don't want that. Because a lot of times when people are getting used to something, the last thing is not something to knock you off your momentum. Um, so, what did I tell you already? One, line the bar up with your eyeballs when laying down. So, roll the bar all the way to the front of the hook, line it up with your eyes, so that when you pick the bar up, you get it adjusted. So, the reason you want to get adjusted, so this is another key element that people do wrong, is they pick the bar up and go right into the motion, which means you have no control. 
You have no control of the bar, so therefore you can't really even make a mind-muscle connection. There's a lot of things that if you're just going through and doing this thing that's called a bench press because the bench press is supposed to be the chest. We don't even know how wide or what's a chest muscle, but at the end of the day, you can't get anything out of this. And I'm talking about experienced lifters. To this day, I still say, hold the bar, get it adjusted. I'm talking about D1 athletes that I work with. So guess what? If I'm telling them that, then most likely other people are screwing up also. It's not like, oh my gosh, shame you. It's just a matter of like, hey, let me take a split second. Let me get my mind, my body, and everything under control so that way I get exactly what I'm supposed to do. So that way, A, I don't get hurt. B, I get the most out of it. And C, you make those connections so that way your motor skills get better. Okay? So grips outside your shoulders. You use typically these little lines right here. A lot of times, once you grab the bar, once you get a position where you're like satisfied with it, that is where you will always grab the bar, whether it's incline bench, decline bench, barbell flat bench, you know, whatever it is you're doing, okay? Chest wise. Um, you always want to pick it up and get adjusted with it, right? So that's what I'm talking about by getting adjusted with it. And you can practice just that thing. So bam, get adjusted. Feel the weight. You want to know where it's at. You want to know where you're holding it so you can get it in the right spot. You can see if something's wrong. Anything's wrong, you know, you have time to kind of like regroup. Another key element is making sure your toes are behind your knees. Why do you do that? You want so two things really: toes behind your knees, but also you want to make sure your feet are always planted on the ground. You want to have that grounded force to give you the ability to also push that bar up. So all of that power, all of that energy comes from that floor, from your feet all the way to your arms through your body. But if you have your feet past your knees, you're pulling. So now you're fighting, right? So your heels and your feet are pulling this way as you're lifting. So you're fighting and pulling this way while you're trying to push the bar up into the rack. A lot of this stuff makes sense, but a lot of times if you don't think about it and you don't understand it, then you don't do it. So if you use these techniques, these all will help you. So every single one of these things will help you to get better, stronger, and get more out of your bench press. Okay? You want to make sure when you come down, you're coming down right across that nipple line. Yeah, I said it. Nipple line. The reason you want to make sure you're hitting that nipple line is that if you hit too high on your chest, your elbows flare out, and all that torque is going into your shoulders opposed to in your chest. Okay? So your elbows, don't tuck them, but they're not coming straight out. Okay? So you're down right here like this, elbows at a slight angle, and driving up. And you want to make sure you feel that chest muscle. So it's here, driving up. Push it with your toes, almost like you're pushing yourself straight back, okay? All of those things matter. So eyeballs line up with the bar, picking the bar up, getting adjusted, toes back behind your knees, so that way all the force trajectory is going up. In one motion, feet are planted on the ground, bringing the bar down across the nipple line, and driving up and towards the rack. Okay? I'm going to run you through that motion real quick so that way you can visually see it. But hopefully all of those verbal cues make sense and you can really play this in your mind and run through it step by step. Step by step. Okay? So grip. Roll it to you. Bars across your eyes. Pick it up. Get adjusted. Toes back behind your knees. Ready? Down. Up. Top. So, hopefully you guys understand all that. You want to get that bam rack and you'll feel that squeeze as well, okay? Grip that bar nice and tight. I promise you, the next time you go hit chest and you bench, 
you're going to surprise yourself, all right? Brent Kasman here, BKPT. Brent Kasman, personal training. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Like I said, it's another episode of Fit Line Man Chronicles. So I'm here to make sure that you guys get all those verbal cues as well as the visual cues so that way you can put the, both together to get the most out of every exercise and out of every workout, giving you the best result, all right? I love you guys. Peace out, all right? See you guys in the next video. Subscribe, match your notification bell. What else? Give me some likes. And share this stuff with people that you feel will get more out of it. All right, see you next one.